Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss proof of this theorem. Okay. So they have given x is a matrix space, a is subset of x. Let us draw the diagram so we can easily understand the concept. Suppose this is a matrix space x d. They are saying a is subset of x. Let us take one set a, which is subset of x. We have one point P belongs to A bar. Okay, so let me write here. We have point P belongs to A bar. A bar means what? A bar means A union A dash. A dash means set of limit points. So if P belongs to A bar, P is in A or P is in A dash. That means P is in A or P is a limit point of A. So let us take some point P here. So I'm writing point P here. What we have to prove? We have to prove that there exists a sequence of points of A. There exists some sequence of points of A which is converging to P. That means in this proof, we have to construct a sequence of points of A which is converging to P. Okay, so let us start to do. Uh, see, A bar has several definitions. It is one of it. But see, there is one more definition. Uh, which is similar to the definition of limit point that definition I'm going to use here. Okay, so the definition is if P belongs to a bar, therefore for every R greater than zero B P comma R intersection A not equal to phi. So this is one of the definition of a bar. So uh, it is similar to the definition of limit point. In a definition of limit point, we remove singleton P from that ball. But in case of A bar, we write the definition in this way. It means if you take any ball, okay, let me draw a ball here. The definition says if you draw any ball around P with radius R, any R you can take, then definitely it intersects A. So this is definition of A bar, right? P belongs to A bar. So what will I do? Let me call it as star. So here we have a, this is our choice to select our R. Getting, you can take R2, you can take R is equal to 4, you can take R is equal to 1, you can take R is equal to 0 0.01, you can take anything, but this, this thing will be true for that R. So here I am selecting uh, R is equal to 1. So let us see what will happen if I select R is equal to 1. I can write b p 1 intersection a not equal to phi that means that means if you draw ball around p with radius 1 okay this is ball radius 1 the intersection is non empty that means definitely we can find some point x1 okay we can choose one point no if the intersection is non empty so therefore we can choose x2 sorry x1 belongs to ball with center p radius 1 intersection a so as i told you earlier this is true for every r so here we had selected r is equal to 1 now i will take r is equal to half i am reducing the value of r so for r is equal to half which is also obviously greater than 0 i am putting here r is equal to half so b p half intersection a not equal to phi that means in this case i am taking radius half and drawing ball around p then also it intersects a there is some uh, no, this is non empty set so here we can select some point x2 it is non empty so definitely we can find some point and we are calling it as x2 let me write here We can choose, therefore, we can choose x2 belongs to b p half intersection a. Okay. I will repeat the same story for r is equal to 1 by 3 now. For r is equal to 1 by 3. See, it is true for every r now. So, it is our choice. I am selecting r is equal to 1 by 3 now here so what will i get b p 1 by 3 intersection a not equal to phi 
that means again we are reducing the value of r and we will get a comparatively small ball okay then also the intersection is non empty so here we can select some point x3 so it is intersection is non empty therefore we can choose we can choose x3 belongs to ball with center p radius 1 by 3 intersection a and so on getting and so on you are getting my point so in this way uh, i'm constructing a sequence of points of a right x1 x2 x3 we can repeat this thing for infinitely many times see this time we have taken r is equal to 1 by 3 next time i will go for r is equal to 1 by 4 then 1 by 5 1 by 6 1 by 7 1 by 100 1 by 1000 you can continue this process since it is true for every r greater than 0 our r's are greater than 0 so we can do this and each time we can select one point x1 x2 x3 x4 x10 x100 x1000 and so on so in this way we are getting a sequence okay so there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us write a general statement okay therefore for r is equal to 1 by n greater than 0 we can write b p 1 by n intersection a is not equal to 5 okay so yes, for R4, uh, see R is equal to 1 by 4, 1 by 5, 1 by 6. I am writing the general statement. Intersection is non-empty. So therefore, we can choose, we can choose some point Xn from this intersection. B, P1 by N, intersection A and so on. And so on. Getting my point, I will try to draw one more ball ball with sent radius 1 by 4 we can select x4 so see can uh, did you notice one thing we are constructing a sequence of points of a but all these points are moving towards single point that is p we are reducing the radius so that's why each time point is getting closure to that point p okay so let us prove this thing mathematically so and so on right so therefore therefore we get a sequence we get a sequence xn such that such that let me mention xn belongs to we are getting sequence in this way b p 1 by n intersection a see it lies in intersection that means it lies in both sets that means xn belongs to this ball and xn belongs to a agree so that means xn is a sequence of points of a such that this is true okay let me remove this part so we'll have some more space to write it so let us mention that thing here therefore therefore sequence xn is a sequence of points of a such that xn belongs to b p 1 by n so that means okay for all n belongs to set of natural number right so xn is a point of a such that it lies in a ball so if any point lies inside a ball that means its distance from the center of ball is less than its radius are you getting what i'm saying Suppose this is ball with radius r and center p. If there is one point a which lies inside a ball that means distance between a and p is less than its radius. If point lies outside a ball that means its distance from center is greater than its radius. You are getting the point. So xn lies inside a ball. It means its distance from center of ball is less than its radius 1 minus. Okay, its radius is 1 by n. So that's why I can write this. But you know that 1 by n is very standard sequence and it converges to 0. So 1 by n converges to 0 as n tends to infinity. What it means? It means distance between xn and p that also tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. Let me remove this part. Ready? Uh, distance between xn and p tends to 0. It means it means 
सिक्वेंस एक्स एन कॉन्वर्जेस टू पी डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एक्स एन एंड पी टेंस टू जीरो दैट मीन्स दैट सिक्वेंस एक्स एन कॉन्वर्जेस टू पॉइंट पी सो हियर वी गेट एक्स एन इज अ सिक्वेंस ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ ए सच दैट एक्स एन कॉन्वर्जेस टू पी सो अवर टारगेट इज अचीव वॉट वी हैव टू प्रूव हैड टू प्रूव सिक्वेंस ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ ए कॉन्वर्जिंग टू प्री पी सो देर फॉर आई कैन डिक्लेयर हैंस हैंस द रिजल्ट So in this way we completed this proof make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you